Hello, this is a new tutorial about uh, structuring your architectural drawing and uh, now it's about a grouping of objects which is um, <clears throat> in between or a combination of the structure that we've seen with uh, in the outliner with parenting it's the cluster object and uh, move and, and translate and uh, organize them in space as a, as a group and bundle of things and uh, the inheritance we had with the links uh, from uh, other files or within the uh, actual uh, design so from prototypes and instances so let's see how it works so we will start with an instance of an uh, object from an external file in this case it's um, uh, tutorial 32 the file is on github available and you will see the, have the link uh, below so go to the prototype and here this is our our element this is a link to a file topo the architecture the design and the material three databases connected uh, to free the architecture so that we can move around these things and configure it with other instances we have to select it and then uh, make a proxy and now the architecture is free uh, design and material are locked so they're locked with this file here and here you see there are two copies of this external mesh so now we want to make a set so that's a second conception of uh, structuring things this is with the outline i'm getting hierarchies so we say this is set one and this element should be part of the set one and if we now click the link so if we uh, select this uh, this object duply link it and we'll do it again we are within this set one and we organize uh, three objects uh, with it. Okay, so what we so what we want to do now is we can uh, select all this okay so we can select all these elements, <coughs> the parent and its child, and then we can have a duply link on the x-axis. That's fine. We uh, now have for these meshes eight, uh, eight, uh, eight instances, which means if we change this uh, mesh in the other file, all these uh, six, thing, six elements will be changed and two others somewhere. So that's fine, but the architectural layout is not inherited. So this is a set and this is uh, not affected by that. So we can't inherit the architectural layout of this. For example, if this is a kitchen in a, in a certain floor and this on the next floor should be the same. We have to reconfigure uh, the other all the other kitchens as well so this is not what we want we want to inherit the topography of a set and uh, <clears throat> not just uh, copy it therefore we have this concept of, uh, of uh, a group so let's get rid of the copy and look for the group so we are here with the architect um, with the architectonics or with the topo topography of things we go for group and say we want to have a new group and uh, this is a set one scheme a scheme of uh, well, it's an abstract thing of of, um, of that so that's it now say this should be part of and this should be part of this group 
and this element should be part of the group. So, before they all are part of the group. See it somewhere. Okay, maybe you see it here. Not in the outline. So now go for this are the prototype scene and now create another scene and this are is layout one. So now we are empty and now we can instantiate a group. So go for for with A and we see at least our group instances. Set one scheme and here are our three instances. Um, duplicate that. X. Here we are. And we have, we have uh, two. Now, if we go for the prototype and move this guy, go for the layout one. Both sets are. Change. And I can't go in here, I just can move it as a old set. So that's it in principle, and uh, you can organize uh, your architecture by that. So you have the prototypes, then you have instances of designed objects and uh, materials combine them, connect them, and then you have certain sets, and then you have instances of sets. So that's uh, the line. So by that, you can aggregate and arrange things towards buildings. So now let's change uh, the prototype layout. And uh, give this guy another uh, link, for example. So change it to another object. So therefore, we want to uh, import link another another prototype. So it's prototype three. With this guy. By that we inherit the the other mesh. Now we can go here. This is not part of our of our group. This is uh, the one set group, but here now we can go for um, let's look what we can make. So it's how three. Let me change that. So it's another link to another mesh. So now we can uh, forget that. That we have it in our local database. Now we have another link, which means this guy now is linked to another database object. You see it here, there it is. So, which means if we go for our layout, we change both. So, later on, we will have. Uh, more complex setups for building, creating, and organizing home buildings. But I think uh, you got the ideas and the principle how to structure uh, your, your architectural design and uh, you get the idea how the things work. And by the way, um, if you say just the current scene here, you see we have simply two objects here. If we go for prototypes, we have three objects, one set here. It gets very compact and uh, clear in these hierarchies, independent where you're going. Very simple setup all the way. So we go here and then uh, have it. So we don't have these messy, unstructured hierarchies. So you always have hierarchies and geometry. And then you have uh, inheritance. And you have inheritance on meshes, material, and you have inheritance 
uh, on uh, geometry and sets and architecture and then design. That's it. Keep that in mind. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.